Simmer down. Quit stirring that pot. Hi guys, this is Simmer Down, aka Selena. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are with the Bowden family for the Tiny Living Challenge. And yeah, last time we left off, Taylor was um, trying to get a man. Yeah, she was trying to um, boss up, I guess, and that did not work out in her favor, but we are going to win Declan over. Um, I really want her to end up with Danny, but Taylor doesn't like re rejection. So I plan to win over Declan just because. I know that probably sounds pretty shallow. Like, why do you care if you don't want to be... Well, she doesn't like rejection. She doesn't like to feel like she's not that B. So, um, yeah, she's going to have to win him over. And, yeah, so that is the plan. Um, so, I'm going to have Fiona come and do her gardening thing, you know, because... That is her thing. And yeah, we're going to have her do that. Um, we are going to come and have Taylor clean the sink and then brush her teeth. Because, you know, we haven't done that in a while. <laughs> I, I, I honestly forget to have them brush their teeth. It's weird. I know it doesn't seem like it's a necessity in the game. So I'm going to have Fionn's come and brush her teeth also when she gets a chance. I'm going to have Babe Girl come and take a nap. I don't think she's at all tired, but we'll just have her do so for the sake of doing it. Um, Fionn's can come and take a nap also. Like, why not? Just why not? Take a crazy chance. Why not? Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm crazy. Um, let's come and have her pee like a champion. Because, you know, how else is she going to go? Um, let's get in the hot tub. Because, you know, after you take a pee and, you know, you want to you wanna take a hot dip in the hot tub. Um, actually, we're going to have mom come and take a dip with her like they they never do that i don't think they've ever done that ever and that's like let's get in the hot tub and have a conversation i miss you i mi i feel like we're growing apart i feel like we are drifting apart and i want to get close to my baby so let's tell her a unbelievable story Just unbelievable and um, we are going to brighten her day because, you know, she's mom and we love her. <laughs> so let's brighten her day. Make her day just totally bright and happy. Oh, there was the bay. There is Danny. He's bay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know if Danny's a young adult or if he's... Uh, child and that's gonna make it oh oh she's like you're talking but i don't really yeah <laughs> your lips are moving but that's about it <laughs> um yeah there is the x <laughs> shoot him stab him kill him <laughs> the x um let's tend the garden Tend a garden. Let's harvest all. Um, tend that garden. Um, harvest that food. Get it, get it, get it. We need to make some more money. Not really, because we're rich. We're pretty much rich. We could live in a pretty expensive big home right now. Um, we're a nice size home right now because, yeah, we, we have enough to do that, but... We don't because my mom's addicted to her tiny home. Yeah. 
annoying a little bit a little bit annoying but yeah so in the morning we're gonna go over to dad's house just to see what's going on over there like we're gonna go over there and see what's up go see what's up maybe she had the baby maybe she had the baby maybe just maybe <laughs> oh, i just made that up <laughs> cute song okay it, at seven o'clock we'll go seven in the morning yeah that, that's baby gotta get up with the baby around that time so she won't be invading their space but yeah let's um no one is home well they're gonna have to be home because you know what i'm going over there um oh taylor's large donation has not gone unnoticed the charity has added her name to their donor wall well thank you she's going over there anyway um i don't know why no one would be home doesn't make sense she's gonna go knock on the door because that always says there's no one home and then they're home happens all the time happens all the time okay yep see told ya i told ya she had the baby she had the baby all right let's give her a heartfelt compliment like Oh my gosh, you look great after having that baby. You look phenomenal. All right, so she doesn't really like her, but she's, you know. Um, and she's there announced. Um, they are married. They are married. Her name is now, what is it? What's her name? Um, I think... Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, okay, symbology. Here we go. Let's check the symbology. That'll let us know. Um, yep, she's her stepmother, like I thought. Ooh, and babies. Here we go. We have a half-sister named Jalissa. Oh, I love her name. Um, and a half-brother. Oh my gosh, his name is Robert Jr. Oh, I have to meet them. I have to meet them. Where are they? Okay, let's go in and find their room. Because I don't know where they live. I, I don't know what house they're... Oh, I have to knock on the door. Which is weird because they're outside talking to me. But whatever. Whatever gets me inside. Alrighty, so. Let's find these babies. Um, Where are you babies? Oh, I see babies. I see babies. Okay. No, I really... Okay, let's stop pretending. I set this little setup up. And, um... Yeah, I love that. I love it. It's so cute and cozy. And here are the little babies. I also named them, of course. But, you know, I kind of knew they were here. But, yeah. Um, so, let's cuddle her and rock him. Um... If I could rock him. Okay, let's rock him. Cuddle her. And I don't really care about viewing this bassinet. So, yeah. We are going to rock and cuddle. Oh, so cute. Oh, 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 oh. Pause, pause, pause. Pause for the cause. We have to get a picture. Oh, we need the, we need the walls up. That is a must. Walls up so it doesn't look all weird. Weird zoes. Like, huh, you can see through the walls. See through the walls. <laughs> okay, I'm being a little bit annoying, but, you know. I had some coffee this morning, so. You know, coffee equals cray-cray. Cray-cray. Selena. Cray-cray Selena. She cray. All right. Oh, 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 I love it. I love it though. Look at me. Look at look at you guys. Oh, I love it. Okay, so that is our screenshot. Probably our little thumbnail picture. Whatever. Um, yeah. Alright, so I 
I absolutely love these little guys. Um, I'm going to rock her and then I'm going to cuddle him. And then I feel like I've, I've, you know, played big sister. Played. Or I've been big sister once I've done these things. So I'm going to... Actually, you know what? I want Danny to come over and meet my siblings. So I invited him over. Hopefully he'll come. He's going to come. All right. So let's go downstairs and let him in. Yay. Okay. So he's, oh, he's, he's coming right on up. All righty. No, he, wait. What is, wait. <laughs> okay, he's coming up, but it seems like I'm coming down. I think, I don't know. What is going on? What is going on? Okay, so he's, he's meeting the brothers and sister. That's what he's doing. All right, so view together. That's what we'll do. And yeah, so there they are. So cute. Look at my baby brother and sister. All right. So let's um compliment him and share a secret. And yeah. So I think that um Taylor is just infatuated. She's totally in love with these babies. And she doesn't really want to go home. She is literally contemplating staying here. She's like, um, she's kind of wanting to tell, um, Danny, like, what do you think? How, how do you think my mom will react? Do you think she'll be okay with it? Um, do you... What do you think? And she's just wanting his opinion a little bit on, you know, what. So she's going to go into a deep conversation, you know, explaining that, I mean, if I stay, I could have this room down the hall right here. I could have this room and, you know, that would be our room. You could totally, like, stay here with me stay the night and whatnot and we could we could totally like live here I could live here in this big beautiful house and I want to I really really want to um so let's bottle feed our brother because they're very he's very hungry and our sister's very hungry and I gotta feed these babies um so yeah she's like really wanting to stay and she's like you know what He's like, you know what? I'm I'm with you. Whatever you want to do, I'm down with it. Um, you know, wherever you are, I will visit. Wherever you go, I will come. Like, I, I'm down. Like, if that's what you want to do, you know, I support you. And um, so, yeah, she's got her booze support and so she's going to actually she's going to finish this bowl of cereal and then she's going to go home and talk to her mom she's going to discuss um yeah just staying you know telling and so she's going to tell her dad that she's going to do this like she wants to um, they become best friends with him and, um, compliment his house and then deep conversation. She's just going to tell him, Hey dad, I really, really, really want to just live here with you guys. And they're no, damn, they, they're no longer friends now. Okay. Well. She's like, you're siding with the enemy. <laughs> um, so she's going to go home and tell mom what she wants to do. She's really not. She's like, oh, I'm, I'm dreading this. But 
I have to do it. So she's she's gonna man up and she's gonna go home and do it. So where's my mom? Um, call her over. Actually, let's get let's get in the hot tub. We'll discuss it over the hot tub. We'll discuss in the hot tub. All right. So she is going to. Okay. So no, 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 no. No, no, no. I said no, no, no. All right. Fine, 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 fine. All right, so let's mom get back in and babe girl is going to tell her about a deep secret. And the secret is that I guess they can't be in the hot tub when they do it. Okay, that's fine. Um, so tell her a deep secret. And the secret that I think she's telling her is that, you know, they had twins. And she's like, what? Your dad had twins? And... You know, she's like, yeah, they're married now. And, um, and I really, 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 you know, have found my place there. I really hope that you would be okay with me, you know, moving there. If that would be okay with you. Um, and she's like... Well, I don't know. So she's, um, come on. Can you please stay on task here? Um, so she's like, um, hold on. Give me a second here. Um, she wants to demand her independence. Like, you know, I, I need to be independent, mom. Like, I totally need to be independent and, you know, do things my own way. She's going to go back out. Her mom is so pissed off and so mad that she would ever even remotely. So she's going to have another deep conversation with her. And, um let her know I'm this is me and this is what I'm doing I'm sorry but I really really need to you know live with dad like I really need to it's not a want it's kind of a need like I love that I have a baby brother and a baby sister and she's like you want siblings well I can give you siblings it's just like, you don't even have a prospect for a relationship. You know, you're not in a relationship with anybody. You pushed everybody out, you know, with your gardening. And she's like, I wish we didn't even have a garden. You know, like she's so agitated by the fact that she, I'm sorry, my daughter keeps coming in here and interrupting. If you hear that, she just, I don't know. I don't know what her deal is today, but she, she just needs some mommy time or something. But I'm going to have her go use the bathroom. And, yeah, I'm going to have Fiona come out and harvest all of her thingies here. Um, have her sell these. And, yeah. She's really, really mad. She's like, I can't believe that they're doing this to me. Like, it just, it doesn't make any, any sense at all. Like, why is she doing this? <laughs> she, she just doesn't really get why. Um, why that they would be so quick to, you know, want to leave. And she just doesn't get it. You know, she's a kid. I can understand why she would not get it. Like, 
I, I get it. I get it. Totally get it. Her mom is just so mad. She, she's just picking. I don't know. It's doing that weird thing again. Every time I like try to just set a, a thing down, it does that. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to go to buy mode and see where I even put it because I don't even see it. Like, I really hate <laughs> um, that I can't find what I just had. Like, where did it go? I don't know. I don't know. It, it disappeared. Okay, there it is. It's back. Okay, so what I was trying to do was take it out of... No, not throw it away. Okay, well, I guess we're leaving it in there. Um, and it won't let me drop them to sell them, so I guess we're not selling them either. Cool. Place it in the world. Yeah, why can't they place that in the world? Weird. Whoa. I have to take this call, you guys. Alright, sorry guys, I was... I had to take that phone call. Um, yeah, so she's really still fuming mad that her daughter's, you know, going to leave. She's she doesn't know what to do. She's like, I'm going insane right now. Thinking that Okay, there's a grow fruit right there. Let's pick that up. Put it back in our inventory. Um Okay, so it's back in there, and she's just, you know, I'm gonna let them sleep. She's just fuming mad that her baby wants to leave, but in all honesty, she doesn't want to leave because she wants to leave. She wants to leave because she wants to, you know, have that family life, and she just doesn't have it here because, you know... Her mom's not providing it, you know, the a family life. She's, you know, so into her own thing that she just feels, I don't know, that Fiona, she feels that Fiona feels that she doesn't really need Taylor here. But honestly, Taylor is what holds Fiona together in this house and Taylor doesn't understand she doesn't know you know I want to see what this chick has on because I saw it and it looked colorful I'm like what's she wearing that's a cute jacket I don't know where it's from though hmm it must be in my collection though if I have it I'm gonna look for it okay so um yeah, I don't know. She's just, it's a bad situation. I wish that Fiona could just, like, tell her how much she needs her, you know? How much she, would miss her if Taylor leaves, you know? When and if Taylor leaves, she's going to miss her oh so 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 much she's just it's not gonna be the same household without taylor it's just not let's be honest it's going to be very lonely and you know she's her only outlet right now she's gonna take an angry poop <laughs> an angry poop that's funny so funny so she's going to sell the stuff that she has just sell away she's got 10 grow fruits which equals $195 ooh that's
I thought I sold this. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's my garden sleep. Um, sorry. I can't really tell what's what because it's like. Okay, I don't know. It's being funny again, so I'm gonna leave it. Um, and so we're gonna have them have a deep, another deep conversation and, um, discuss interests. You know, she's trying to talk her mom into, like, being okay. She just doesn't know why her mom's not okay with, you know, the situation she's but you know I think that baby girl should um, definitely stand up to her and demand her independence like regardless of whatever and what not she's just demand it this is what I'm doing and this is you know how I'm doing it and as mad as I know it makes you I know that you're mad and I know that it's, you know, affecting you, but, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it killed her, it killed her, Fiona died, oh, Wow, oh my gosh, she is so, so saddened. Um, I need to get a photo of this. Oh my gosh, this is the worst thing that could ever happen. This is so awful. Let's, um, oh, this is terrible. They were just arguing and she must have had like some kind of, um, I don't know. The autopsy is going to have to tell us what happened because we don't know what just happened. But we know that our mother is lying on the ground dead right now. I, I don't believe this. This is terrible. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. This is like the worst thing that could happen. Um, she did not mean for this to happen at all. Um, she did not mean for her mom to be laid out. This is like the worst scenario ever. That ever. She feels like it's at her, like, at her feet. Like, totally her fault. She feels awful. I killed my mom. Like, she killed her mom. Like, she feels like she killed her mom. This is terrible. Oh my gosh, her garden. <sighs> Who's gonna man her garden? Her garden cannot die. She she cannot let her mom's. This is terrible. I I I can't. I, oh, this is awful. She's so so saddened. This is awful. I think it's only fitting that we put, um, um, what could her, if a, if a, eh, whatever that, if a, empathy, I don't know, I don't know how to, um, what should it be? Something about flowers. 
It has to be something about flowers. Trying to think of something deep. I don't know. I can't think of anything great. Um, I can't think of anything great. Not right now. I'm still recording. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something. She died and I need to put something on her grave. Stone. And I can't think of what to put. I'm trying to think of what to put. You guys leave a comment below with a suggestion on what to put. I'm not going to put anything right now. Because I don't know what to put. I, I mean, I, I want something deep and something about flowers. That's my only, um, what you call it. I'm going to put it over in her garden, though. Because, I mean, she must be in her garden. Like, there's no other place to put her besides in her garden. Um, yeah, there'd be no other place that she could go, um, that I could foresee as an okay place for her besides her garden. It has to be in her garden. Oh, sorry. I my daughter's watching. Um, okay, so let's put her right here in the middle. Um, in the middle of her garden. Okay, that that's a little weird, but you know it is what it is. I mean, this was her life, and among the flowers, hey, live among the flowers. I think that's perfect. Live among the flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Okay, so let's engrave it. Um, live among the flowers I was like is that how you spell among I don't know if that's how you spell among but if that's not I feel like an idiot right now but that's fine I will I will feel like an idiot and that's fine um but I think that's it um yeah so I'm going to end this super duper sad part right here and yeah I'm just gonna end it right here and let this kind of sink in like she was really really gonna leave you know she was ready to go but now I feel like she almost has to stay because if she leaves then her mom's garden will surely you know not flourish and yeah this is a very very sad day um I think this is like my first death in the sims 4 on one of my LPs I think this is let that sink in a little bit um that we have ended an era 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 I don't know but yeah, Fiona is gone. And I feel really sad about it. Um, but you know, it happens. And yeah, so like comment like I feel like really bad even saying like like and comment and like she died, she's gone. I I feel emotional. I'm super emotional about it. Um I'm like, what have I done? Um, yeah, so, yeah, leave a comment below, um, letting me know what you think, um, yeah, I don't know, I, I don't know, don't know how to deal with this, so I'm just gonna let it, let it marinate a little bit. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next part 
of whatever I make. Bye.